how's it going? Welcome to the stream. All right, first step. Um, let me preface this, guys. Let me just let me just preface this real quick. I want you all to understand. I don't try to be anything that I'm not. I'm I'm corridor. I cook. I know what I'm doing. I want to teach you guys how to cook. I want you all to learn from me. I want this to be a really fun experience. If you have any suggestions, I heartfeltly appreciate every single one of them. I want them to all be positive. I want us all to be learning together. I don't want it to be kind of a, like you're doing it wrong kind of a thing. So, if you're all okay with that, we're gonna continue doing this. Um, literally, I just wanna teach people how to cook food. I want everybody to know how to cook food. It's not that hard. Um, really, really, really easy. Like this recipe, guys, half pound of bacon. Okay, easy enough, half pound of bacon. You get three, four stalks of celery, okay? You need salt and pepper. You need clam juice. Tonight I'm gonna to be using combination of bumblebee and bar harbor. Uh, clam juice is important, very, very delicious. Good for you as well. Is it? Uh, I don't know, clams are good. <laughs> They taste good. You're gonna need some clams, chopped clams. Um, I'm, I'm going with bumblebee again on this one. They, they do pretty good with tuna. I, um, I enjoy it. So I want you all to, uh, to get whatever clams you really enjoy, what, 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 what you like. You can go with whole clams if you want. Um, I went with minced in this case. These guys are kind of small. And then Cameron. Picked up some chopped. So chopped is gonna be a little bit of a bigger piece. It's not gonna be so little. Ooh, we're gonna get some chopped. What's up, Fallen? How's it going, buddy? You're doing it wrong. Thanks, Rafira. Fallen, aren't you streaming right now? No, I think Fallen. Did you just finish? Fallen, Fallen did you end streaming? Did I miss a host? Fallen Monument, thank you very much for the host, my friend. I've got my computer over here, as you guys can see. So chat is over here, and chat is also over here. And I hope my oh, that's that's my my chat. So oh, that's your that. chat. Okay, yeah. so this is Cameron's chat over here, and my chat's over here. So I might have missed potentially something along the lines there, but I want you all to just kind of bear with me. This is a learning experience for me and Cameron. This is a learning experience for the stream, not only in the cooking, but also with um, with everything that uh, that's going on with our cameras and our microphone and our sound and our chat and everything else. As you can see, the computer is much closer than it was before. We've kind of moved it over on a rolling desk, and, uh, and it's been working out all right for us. So... Last ingredient, one of the last ingredients, you're going to need some heavy cream. Oh, it's so heavy! <laughs> oh, oh, God! Yeah, that's a fucking stupid, dumb, stupid chef joke right there. Hey, can you pass me the heavy cream? And when they hand it to you, you're like, oh, fuck! This shit's so heavy! Um, dad, stop. You're embarrassing right. me. That's a dad joke, for sure. <laughs> it's kind of like, don't let your meat loaf. Um, <laughs> so heavy whipping cream. We got that. Uh, you also need some potatoes. Luckily enough, the other night when we did our boxing, our unboxing of uh, of foods, we ended up with some potatoes. Potatoes are great. They are so versatile. Um, you are very samert. It's all heavy because it's dense. It's so smart. So samert. All right. So we've got some potatoes. Potatoes, like I said, super important. Potatoes are delicious. I wish I had a little bit more potato, but this is fine. Twitter, read that one. As long as it isn't can chowder. chowder. Oh, <laughs> Darth Royardian. That's okay. sad. Got our potatoes. I hope I have more potatoes. Did I get more than one bag of tomatoes? Yeah. Two. I thought I got two bags of tomatoes. Totally two potatoes. Don't. I feel like there needs to be more potatoes up in this house. Brain remembers two. I remember two as well. Do you remember two bags of potatoes, Cupcake? I know you weren't there looking, but you were also there like the next day. All right, well, not enough potatoes, first of all. Also, what's that dinging? That's my computer. I'm gonna turn my notifications off, hold on. Rafira, thank you for the host. Another great streamer. Can I get some love for Fallen Monument and Rafira, please? I'm gonna turn off my Windows 10 notifications, guys. I'm sorry, bear with me for a moment, please. Turn on quiet hours. We're quiet now, computer. Melee mage! Melee mage. Dude. Everybody. I want you to all know. Melee mage is a dear friend of the streams. And, uh, 
And uh, as a Christmas gift this year, Melee Mage sent me well, this Christmas card. Melee Mage, if you love me, I, if you are okay with it, I'm totally okay with opening this up and showing the stream what it says inside. It refers to another stream of mine earlier this month, last month. Great guy, Melee Mage is also a streamer. I would love some love out for Melee Mage as well, please. Working on it, it's really hard on this pad. So not enough potatoes. Um, let me see if I can remedy that. I might have them in the cupboard over here. Melee Mage gives you the go-to. Okay, cool. Um, so Melee Mage asked me for my address on stream, I wanna say about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to send me a box full of your poo? And, uh, and he sent me this. Hold on, maybe it's easier for you guys to see it like that. I'll, uh, I'll read it out loud. Or can you read it out loud maybe, Cam? Or hang on. Oh, yeah, I got you. I'll read it right here. I got it, I got it. Okay. So I got a box, but I didn't feel like taking a dump. So here's a card with a picture instead. Kappa. Merry Christmas, Melee Mage. And it was actually addressed to Corridor, which was like the coolest fucking thing ever. I was like, yeah, Corridor! Anyways, I'm gonna start, stop impersonating the mangles there for a minute. Yeah. I love your box of poop. Yeah, Cupcake was really emphatic about the cup, the box of poop. So let's get on with the cooking, shall we? Even with the uh, three potatoes that we have, hopefully this is enough. I swear they're really packaged really potatoes. I'm gonna look. Did they get in the freezer or something? Like. It's the weirdest thing that those potatoes have disappeared. Have they have gone somewhere else? No. Pantry? I looked in the pantry, I thought. I don't think they're in the freezer. Careful, because you just messed with the oh, did I? camera cord. Okay, guys. You're good. Chowda! Maris, welcome to the stream, my friend. Okay, so we only got the potatoes that we got. Whatever. Eric, I get mail in the name of my old stream name all the time from credit card companies. It kills me. Red Futz, were you taking out lines of credit with your uh, your streamer name? All right, so we're gonna set these guys aside here. We are going to uh, set aside the ingredients that we don't need. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys a couple things tonight. Uh, Maris will be behind me on this one. Uh, one of those things is called mise en place. Mise en place. Mise en place. Watch your language. Mise en place is a French term, and it means. Um, Having everything in its place. You guys, if you were watching cooking shows, you probably know this already, that they, they stress having your, being ready. Being ready to cook. You gotta get everything ready before you get going. Okay, and it's very important. I don't know if you've ever tried to cook something on the fly, but you're like chopping while your food's burning over here and you're freaking out. So you see how I've got my cutting board out. I have my ingredients laid out in front of myself. I've got my celery. I'm gonna rinse this off one more time because it's dirty. Celery is dirty as fuck. Um, and I always recommend, I know I'm not, I'm not gonna try to be like a hippie in this sense, but I highly recommend that you go with organic celery. Um, if you cannot afford organic vegetables, please, please, please at least buy organic celery. Celery is like a straw. It pulls in everything out of the ground. So if you have some shitty ass chemicals in there, it's gonna string that right up into the celery and it's gonna taste like shit. Please buy yourself some organic celery. Well, if you think about it, celery is literally cell walls and water. So any brown water that gets sucked up into these cell walls is going to be what it uses to develop. And all the nutrients, as whatever nutrients celery does supply, yep. it's not a whole lot. but Not very much at all. Why so, does that make you a hippie? That makes me a hippie because I'm recommending they buy organic stuff. Yeah. Um, Again, I'm gonna use my, my chef's knife. Um, I could go with something else. I, if I had my santoku, I'd be using that. I love santokus. Um, pretty much all of the celery can be used the to an extent. I wanna make this kind of pretty and make it into a soup, so I'm gonna cut off this bite base portion of the celery. Um, this can then be used in a stock. It can be thrown into some pot roast. There are so many different things you can do with this, but just because I want this soup to be kind of pretty, I'm not gonna use them. Maris is gonna understand me on this one. Maybe my son will eat them, I'm gonna throw them in the fridge. He loves celery. He fights with his sister over celery. It's the craziest thing. So celery is off to the side. We don't need it right now. Well, it doesn't make you a happy potatoes, in California. Potatoes actually came in the mail. The potatoes that did get dropped off at my house. Yeah. Um, again, I'm gonna take off this top portion because I do want some pretty celery bits in this in this uh, in this soup. 
and this chowder. So again, I'm gonna take off this top portion of this. Again, this can be used in a stock, um, in a soup. Um, there are so many different uses for this, but for right now, I'm not gonna use it because it's kind of... Next up, so we've got our stalks of celery. They're all about the same length, right? So what do you do next? I will flip them over and I will cut them right down the middle. I'm probably doing this really ugly, bear with me. We can all do this at home. Grab on the sides of it, do not go like this. You don't need to do that in this, in this case. You just need to keep it steady and run. Ooh, there goes celery. I saved it. Which one is Corridor? I'm Corridor, Red Futz. That is me. So again, we're gonna set our celery stalks over here. They don't have to be perfect. You are doing this at home, but we do want them to be relatively even. Again, slicing right down the center of that celery. Now, if you've got bigger celery, it might require two cuts. If you've got this super even, nice celery, you have some uglier cuts, but who cares? Everything's about the same size. I'm trying to teach you how to cook at home. We've got our guys lined up, and I showed you this the other night. You're gonna take your fingers, curl them in, thumb behind those fingers, and you're gonna hold your hand basically about a quarter inch from the end of the celery. And then you're going to go down and just try your best to keep your cuts nice and even. I'm a little sloppy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not cooking for a Michelin star restaurant. I'm not cooking for a fancy place. I'm cooking at home. I want this all to cook evenly, but I don't care if a little bit of it doesn't get cooked as evenly as the rest of it. So you can see I've got some miscuts. Some of it's not all the same. I'm not trying to be perfect. I can't stress that enough. Really cannot stress that enough. That goes over there with a the celery pile I already made. Chefs don't really wear that shit in the kitchen. What, like this? Yeah, I just did this because why not? It apparently makes me look more cookie. I'm cookie! Oh, a, a beard net? My boss has threatened me a couple times with that. My really? uh, the owner. Back back when I first grew my beard out, this time around she seems like she's kind of dealing with it. You're ruining my immersion. I'm sorry. There's a ghost? Oh, I'm moving the cord. I put a cord or I'm covering this casting blanket. Oh, by the way, can you, can you? Hold on. You see this link up here? It says dashboard slash core. Can you open a new CLR browser and put that somewhere small and like up in the top right corner? I remember when I was in culinary arts, my executive chef caught his hat on fire. Didn't notice for like a minute. That's hilarious, Phantasmal. I would have loved to see that. Did somebody run over and start like hitting him in the fucking head? I mean, hair nets and gloves. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can wear gloves at home if you want. I own gloves, and I will use gloves if I'm working with something that's raw. Um, I like to wear gloves so that I don't have to go run over and wash my hands as soon as I do something. So, like, if I'm, if I'm going to do some, like, breaded chicken or something like that, and I have my flour and my eggs and my breadcrumbs all ready to go, um, I'm going to wear gloves when I do that because I don't feel like getting all that shit on my hands. Either way, now we have our celery. It's chopped. I don't recommend that you use your knife to pick up your vegetables unless you are very comfortable with your knife. Um, I make it look easy, but if you feel more comfortable just picking that shit up off your cutting board, go for it. I've never caught fire that I remember. So mise en place, we're gonna set our celery aside. Next up, taters. I wear gloves for chilies and raw meat. Aside from that, nah, yeah, merci. Even at work, I, I don't wear gloves that often, but then you never see me touching my face or itching my beard or nads or anything like that. I'm, I'm keeping my hands extremely clean. My hands are concentrated on food. If I touch something and I eat it, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Um, there are just, there's just habits that you wanna get into when you're working with food, that is. We're done with that. Yes, it's just, I opened it, but you're gonna walk into the little see how hard browser that it opens. No, 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 no. Did you, did you copy the link? Yeah. It's not even right here. Yeah. No, 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 Change the um, opacity of it and all that stuff. 
Um, these potatoes are looking relatively clean. I always recommend that you wash your potatoes. Potatoes are another one that are not great um, to buy, not organic. Cupcake reminded me this the other day. Um, they dip potatoes in some pretty nasty stuff. Herbicides and all kinds of things to prevent funguses and nasty stuff. Fallen, you taking off for the night, man? Okay, I love you. Come back. You're a chef too. That's what I'm talking about, red futs. Scrub them taters, yeah. So we're gonna wash these, even though they're not russets. Um, I'm gonna step over here and, and I have a little brush and I'm gonna real quick just give these guys a nice rub. rub. Um, anything like that that you see you're going to want to take out, obviously. Nice little slice after you're done washing, but give me two seconds here. Woo! Potatoes in the sink. Potatoes getting scrubbed. Potatoes getting washed. Oh, yeah. Lost the potato. Um, I don't know if you guys just noticed, but we just put up a little, uh, little donation goal up in the top corner of the screen, or right below my name there. And that donation goal is for ingredients for cooking future meals. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it is not cheap to, uh, to to cook for my family and then cook for a stream. I'm going to hold on to this. this I'm obviously not just going to throw this away. Cameron's going to go home with some of this. But this meal is I, about a $20, I threw, $25 I threw meal down there. at least like 20 yeah, on my you side. Yeah, you threw down a chunk. I owe you some money, actually. If you want to give me that 10 back, I can give you another 20 Okay. Tis in my pocket. We'll do with that in a sec. Okay. The goal? Yeah, what is the goal? It doesn't say a goal. Um, the goal, I want to do like like at least 25 bucks a stream. A billion to try it, like To try it for ingredients. I mean, if I'm going to do stuff like this. I, I Right now the goal, total goal is 50 bucks because I feel like over the course of a week I could do a lot with 50 bucks on a stream. Um, so maybe 50 bucks a week would be good for me. I can try to scout out some stuff. Um, so we're going to survey our potatoes. They look like they're doing good. I mean, if we want to be super, super picky, we could take this off. doesn't really matter that much. You want to try to not cut into the, to the potato too much. Just kind of cutting it until you see where the nasties stop and then, and then ending it. And like this kind of stuff you can maybe just pop out. I mean, you could use a potato peel. Um, I usually do this recipe with um, russet potatoes. I don't usually use white potatoes, but if you're gonna leave the skin on, you wanna just kinda check them out, make sure they're good. Um, once again, I'm gonna slice down right down the middle of the potato. Gonna do kind of a rough, just rustic, rustic chop on this, guys. Just kinda doing that same thing I taught you the other night with the julienne cut, right in half, cut it again. Now we've got some relatively even potato chunks. Um, I could have probably cut that in half once again, Got a little bit more um, of that potato chunk. Whoa! Fallen Monument with a twenty dollar donation, dude. Lurking my ass. Lurking my ass is right. Are you? You're trying to keep me cooking all the time. We're coming for you, Fallen. So once again, guys, we want to keep our potato pieces relatively even, Mary's so that their your donation link isn't working. My donation link isn't working. Um, Dr. Dalty, if you're in chat and you're listening right now, can you investigate? Multicam, hi. What's up, Dr. Ew? Dr. Ew! What's up, Drew? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Um, relatively even potato pieces. Uh, we're going to put this in a bowl. Drew, thank you for stopping by, man. Very good to see you. I'm sorry I missed you last time unless you were lurking. Ew, I like your wrench. Everyone likes that wrench. Once again, this side's a little bit thinner, so I don't really need to go over it again. I could have cut, I should have cut that last one in half again because it was so thick. Post so we're just gonna. Rockstar. I'm sorry. Post from Agent Rockstar. Post from well, Agent post. Ross. Post. Agent Rockstar, thank you for the host. Oh, thank you for the host. I thought you said post. Host. I'm sorry. Host. The hostest with the most is Agent Rockstar. Thank you very much, Gavin. I appreciate that. Um, this time again, I'm not gonna go right through the middle. I just rethought that. Go right through here on this side. Through here, we want kind of like one inch or half inch pieces. Oh. Some of these would be a little smaller. I don't really care. We're cooking at home, guys. Some of the potato will break down and it'll be fantastic. Once again, we got a nice flat side right down the middle. To our Julianne, our rustic. Maris calls it rustic. Once again, I'm at home. I'm not cooking in a restaurant. I'm not cooking for crazy. 
people that are watching. Oh wait, I am cooking for crazy people that are watching. Hi. Hi, crazy people that are watching. What are you doing watching someone cook on Twitch? Getting hungry is what they're doing. I know they are. <laughs> Until they see the bacon cook. Ooh. That's when it starts getting hungry. Can we put the camera like on the bacon watch it sizzle? The sizzle? The sizzle. We could do the sizzle. I must has potatoes now. Full has no. <laughs> Willie Ho! Thank you very much. Actually, that was um, that was PayPal. Let's see what that says on... Um... Are my notifications down? I think so. They're not oh, they are. Excuse me, guys. One second. I need to pull a link out of my butt. Bear with me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be hiding him pulling that link out of his butt because I don't know if I want to see a link come out of his butt. I think that would be really... Sounds kind of gross. Yeah. It's like, true. I, I think I would break terms. Guys, I'm so, so sorry. I was in <laughs> such a rush the other night to... Um, to make this happen, my, but my I didn't money. do uh, a very good job of transferring things over, and I sincerely apologize for that. Please give me just one second here. Guys, we'll be right back. We're still making chowder. Don't you worry about that. He's just hacking over here. He's got a hack. That's what he's got to do. Okay. Got another bling. 25 more bucks. Fallen, I'm coming for you. Fallen, Monty, you stop it. Stop, sir. You know how much that is already? That's $65. Okay, hold on. I gotta pull up. That's like, quick. that's like a full meal. We hit the goal in half. Yes, we did. Melee Mage, thank you for the donation. Uh, oh, it's not transferring. Why isn't it transferring? Reload it. Like, re re me. reload the link into it. Dalton. Guys, you're amazing. You're all freaking yes, you amazing. Yes, you are all freaking amazing. Thank you so very, very much. I just... We're doing it right. <laughs> $25 from Fallen Monument, top donation. You're having too much fun. I like the multicam. It's like, cool. Like, look. Cam cam. Cam cam. Cam cam. Cam cam. Cam cam. Can you is do Dalty that? in chat? Cam, cam. Can, is, can anybody find Dalty for me? Can somebody whisper Dalty? Dalty. Because it's not transferring to the screen. Calling all Daltys. Tip train. Woo woo! My god, you guys. Woo woo! What else we got? Fallen Monument, thank you so much, man. I love your face. I just can't get my notification. $20 from, a, from Brett. I don't know what your in-name username right. is. I don't want to say too oh, much of your Maris. name. $20 Maris. From Maris. Jeebus, god. You guys are awesome. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be doing some more cooking streams. What do you? What, can I get some suggestions as to what you guys want me to cook tomorrow night? Yeah. Who, what? What are you guys hungry for? You guys what do like you a, feel? You guys want to set up a menu of some of some kind? We My can make. God, we can I make love pizza. All of your faces. We Melee make, mage. Maris. Fallen monument. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this hype. Chicken Sweet noodle Benaya, soup. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We can do. We can do. We, we can, can do pastries. Select the file from your computer to overlay. This guy makes great burritos. Red flats. I'm using um. Uh, God, it's a, it's a totally different setup. Uh, Dr. Dalty helped me out with it. I don't know, can you fuck with it, Kim? Yeah, Make sure, try to figure out why we can see it on there. Here, do you know what you should do? Instead of that, window cap that. Yeah, that works. Do that. Sure. And, then, and then put that up, and that'll work. Okay, thank you, Cameron. Okay, so guys, we're doing the mise en place still. We've got our potatoes set aside. We've got our celery set aside. Now the time to move on to the best part. Seriously, guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Fallen. Fallen is calling. Yeah. Okay. So, one of the best parts. Okay. Well, I'm going to put you on speaker, okay? You're on speaker. Hi. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm using whatever it is Dolphy set me up with. No, the alert's totally different now. Dolphy set me up with something different. And and Cam's gonna window cap it right now, so you'll see it in just a second. It'll list it all up. No, it's it's not Twitch alerts. It's it's not Twitch alerts at all. Alright, I'm gonna go back to streaming now. I know. Alright, bye Paul. That was Fallen Monument, everybody. Fallen Monument, give me that phone call. That's okay, though. So, Birkin. We've got our Birkin. And this Birkin just came fresh from my work. This Birkin... Are you jerking your Birkin? 
I'm not jerking my Birkin. I want you all to look real closely at that Birkin. I want you to see how thick that Birkin is. That is how thick I want you all to buy your bacon. I do not want you buying that cryovac bullshit that's probably paper thin you could throw in the microwave and cook off in 30 seconds. I want you guys to be buying, what's up Eric? Nuclear Bear 707. Oh, is he in there? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Eric's in. Hell yeah. What's up Eric? And I gotta tell you guys right now, that is not enough Birkin. We need more Birkin. We need more Birkin. And I've got more Birkin, I know I do. We need twice as much Birkin. Okay. We're gonna cook a fucking pound in this thing, all right? Because we really like Birkin, okay? So there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm actually gonna wipe my knife down. Um, and now I want also you guys to look at what I did, the chain of events that I had right here. I went vegetables, raw meat, and then I don't need my cutting board anymore. I can set the cutting board aside and I can then start working on cooking and I've got everything ready for me. So you wouldn't really want to start with the Birkin because then your knife's gonna get all greasy, your cutting board's gonna get all greasy, and then you're gonna have a fucked up time trying to cut up your carrots and your celery. Um, this recipe, you can also put in uh, carrots. Birkin, you don't need Birkin? Here's the non-Twitch alerts donation goal. Did you guys get it up? Did you get it up? Yeah. Sweetness. Man, we, we blew that goal out of the water, you guys. That's $55 out of 50 in like five minutes, and I can't tell you how amazing that is. I sincerely appreciate that. We're gonna be cooking some serious food. Um, so we got our Birkin laid out. If you guys want me to stop saying it like that, I'll, I will. Say bacon. Say bacon. <laughs> just fucking say bacon! Um, I'm gonna real quick just put a little nice little edge on this guy. Just because I need it! And we're going to make, not that towel, one of our towels, our wipe down towel. I like to use cup towels. You can use a rag. You can use whatever you want. You can use paper towel. But there's some starch on my knife, there's some grease on my handle, and I don't like it. So that's now my wiping down towel. And when I'm done with it, I'm gonna wash it. Um, two ways you can go with the bacon. Oh, the honing blade, I hate you so. I'm sorry, do you not like that noise? Um, with the bacon, we can either cut it down the middle and then cut it lengthwise and get kind of a, like a small dice of bacon. Or if you kind of prefer like this look, where it's kind of more like, you know, strips, begging strips right there, um, you can cook it like that. It's totally up to you. Um, don't worry about a high fat content in bacon because like really you're not eating it all the time. I'm gonna do strips tonight as opposed to dice um, just because I like the strips. So I'm gonna slice down the strips. I've got my hands, as you can see, I've got my thumb behind my fingers. I'm having a little bit of a hard time here, but I'm getting through it. Should be relatively easy. I do this all the time. Uh, also a really good way to cook bacon and eggs. Cut your bacon into strips like this and uh, yeah. throw it in a pan, bring it up to heat, like throw it in a cold pan, bring it up to heat, start rendering it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. And when it's just about crispy, like where you want it to be in terms of crispiness, throw in like four scrambled eggs and stir the shit out of that. Don't worry about dumping any grease or anything. You wanna fucking enjoy that. I can't stand the noise it makes. Oh, my, my honey blade, I know. Blade, what's up, dude? Nice salt pork works, too. It does. It does indeed, but it doesn't give you that smoky bacon flavor. Now, in this situation, it does not matter if my pot is hot enough, and cooking the bacon is the very first thing that I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna throw that in the pot. And because it's gonna take a minute to heat up, I'm going to turn the pot on. And also make sure that I'm not cooking my stoof. So now we're gonna put it on like a medium low heat and start rendering our bacon. Just like we talked about last night, rendering sausage, we're gonna render our bacon. Yeah, whenever I think about it, I think, oh, but I don't want to not have them tonight. What's that? Ruben, is Ruben here? Yeah, I told Ruben too. What's up, Rubo? How you doing, buddy? All right, so once again, we're just gonna go down our bacon. A nice sharp knife helps. You really just wanna kinda of go down through the bacon, but holding onto it's important because sometimes bacon can be kinda of wiggly. You get a wiggly bacon. You guys hear that noise? You guys hear that delicious sound? Uh, the sound of bacon sizzling in a pan. Wake you up from across the room. 
you could be drunk off your ass laying on the couch. You hear that sizzling sound, that smell hits your nose. It's over. We have way too much bacon, and someone overboard. We have way too much bacon, but that's okay. Because I have a plan for that, and Maris gave me the tip tonight on that one. And now that I'm done, I'm gonna wash my hands. Feel like grease. Feel like grease. Oh, that delicious grease. I love fat, guys. Yeah. Um, see if you can figure out how to get my um, my alerts to work, okay. like my follow alert and stuff. Stop or I'll shoot. Is that a ceramic knife? It's not actually. Um, this is a set of knives. They're called Pure Komachi, and um, they're high high carbon steel. Back you, Eric. Back you. They are super high carbon steel, and they are metal, and I fucking love them, and they only cost twenty bucks. Can I be famous too? Anytime you want, Ruben. Are you, are you asking to come over right now? He's probably right over there. He probably is. So, I want you guys to pay attention here. This is not a cheap pot. I'm going to show you why. You see how thick that bottom is? You see how it's made out of copper? You want a nice thick bottom pot when you're making soups. Thick, thicker the better. Seriously, you guys want a nice, nice, nice thick pot. Um, so if you, um, I might have put it in one of my bookmarks up there. I know. Okay, maybe go to my, my um, history, I guess. It might be in my history somewhere. Um, I know I put the link up. Crack the tool. I know the link's in there somewhere. I have, it's like core.hcloud or something like that. I don't know. Not the if Dolphy was around, I think he could help me. I wonder how long, how long it took Core to set this camera up. Which one? The one right there? I would show you right now, but the uh, iPad right here is actually um, taped to the oven. Um, but this guy's hanging off of a, you know that little, you know in your, in your kitchen you've got the, the yeah. hood? There's a cabinet right above the hoods. That's, that's where the camera is. It's hanging right off that cabinet. Thank God there's no such thing as smell o vision I would be going insane right now. The, tip, the typical neck beard, thermal mass baby. Yes, exactly. Um, the thicker the bottom of your pan, the better, really. So I'm gonna actually turn the heat up a little bit. I put so much freaking bacon in this that it's not rendering very quickly. Don't be afraid to give your food a shake. Even it out a little bit. And I'll show you why I like thick bottom pans. Yeah, that's it, Bob Deb. Now, if you can figure out where the link is, this is all kind of out of my territory. But try, maybe try doing a, go down to Twitch. Maybe go to, go to the dashboard. Or we on the dashboard, yeah. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is my nice, big, thick-bottomed pan. I recommend that everybody has one of these pans. They are fantastic. Um, nice, thick, you can tell it's thick. It's heavy, it weighs a bunch. Heavy pans are good. Heavy is good. You want heavy pans, heavy are fantastic. Thick bottom pans make the rockin' world go round. That's what I'm talking about. So much bacon, I know, right? Thank you, Fallen. Appreciate that, my friend. So our bacon's cooking down. Taking a little while. Um, I'll explain to you guys the next step after the bacon. Um, once this bacon is going to cook down, we're then going to throw in our celery, and we're going to put our we're going to cook our celery in the bacon grease, and it's going to be fantastic. And in fact, I'm going to actually reserve some of the bacon grease because I have so much freaking bacon. I'm going to reserve some of the all of the bacon and some of the bacon grease, and I'll show you why. Cast iron is going to use. I fucking love cast iron. I wish I had more cast iron pans. Um, what else can I show you while I'm waiting for this to cook? 
What you guys need to give me some like recipe suggestions. Give me some ideas of what you want to see me cook. Um, it doesn't always have to be this. It doesn't always have to be something that I choose. Although I do enjoy picking the foods. I hope this doesn't get too loud on you guys. Actually, let's leave some of the bacon smell in here. I'm so in love with my cast iron. It's like my prized possession. What brand did you get? Did you get the, um, gosh, the Lodge? Did you pick up the Lodge or did you buy um, Le Creuset? Thank you for the follow, Rubo. I kind of expected that. Did it pop up in the right corner though? That's the one that's supposed to be for my alerts, so that you can see that. Cast iron is so cheap too, my big one was like 30 bucks. Yeah, cast iron, I recommend everybody gets a cast iron pan, but what you should know about cast iron is um, how to take care of it. Uh, it's really easy to rust a cast iron pan, it's really easy to fuck it up. Uh, but it's it's also a really easy pan to cook with. Um, they tend to be pretty forgiving. Now, Antonio Lima, thank you for the follow, my friend. So now our bacon, um, now that I've got the heat turned up a little bit, you guys can maybe see this a little bit with the camera. You see that browning that's going on down there? That's where the bacon's sticking to the bottom. So I'm not saying you need to sit here and stir this the entire time, but you want to make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom. You don't want any burnt pieces in with the rest of your rendered bacon. I still have my heat on high. I'm still keeping an eye on it. But like literally I have so much bacon in there, I'm just letting it do its big anything. But I should get ready for my next step, which is going to be draining the bacon and reserving the bacon grease and then using this pan once again. So I'm going to get um, I'm going to get a metal bowl, nice mixing bowl. I'll only know if it um, follows. Unless you do a test. I think you can run a test. So I'm going to get my metal bowl and I'm going to get the strainer. You guys remember this from the other night? We need smell o vision here. Black Jester, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing, man? All right. So we've got the bowl set up. I think you guys can see that. Yep. We've got our bowl set up. We've got our strainer set up. We've got our bacon rendering. We still want to make sure we're, we're stirring this a little bit. Um, the celery. Okay. So when you guys get stuff stuck to the bottom of your pan, uh, it's not always a bad thing. Um, I'm not saying like it's burnt to the bottom of the pan, but sometimes like when you're cooking bacon or like sausage or, or something that's got a lot of fat, something that's delicious, having that stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan isn't always a bad thing. And I'll tell you why. If you have something to deglaze a pan, you might've heard that term used in cooking. Deglazing a pan involves adding something like white wine or like a broth of some kind, or even a vegetable to kind of lift all that yummy, caramelized ground goodness that's on the bottom of your pan. Um, we don't have to worry about it too, too much. S. Reyes. What's up, S. Reyes? Boo, what's boo? Oh, okay, well, that's uh, totally your opinion, man. The, the stuff that sticks to the bottom of the pan that gets deglazed up adds to the full flavor of everything that you're doing. And sometimes when you cook something down, say bacon or a meat of some kind, um, and you set it aside after you cooked it, you can then use your, that sauce made from that stuff on the bottom that you deglazed off and Sir pulled Gio, off of it. you're not my friend. Was that Serge? What's yeah. up, Serge? You play nicely, or I'll come for Someone you. Someone better hit that sap that you sleep. Cook a live lobster or a crab? I don't know, man. I don't oh. think so. Do it in Spanish. What's that? Cocinar un cangrejo? You por, por los mexicanos. I can buy it. I can buy a crab. You want to come over and put it in for me? You can be here and go... When it hits the water. Yeah. Anyways, so stir all this bacon up all good. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, Serge, you gotta, you gotta try to be nice. We gotta be nice up in here. We gotta be nice up in the stream, man. Everybody's nice. We got friends in here. You guys might see it. It's starting to get a little bit brown. We got a nice heat on it. It's cooking down nicely. Um, this is this goes for the same with your uh, when you're cooking it for like eggs. You want to get that um, 
you want to get it just, just cooking nicely and not too fast, but in this case I've got a thick bottom on the pan, I can turn all the heat all the way up to the high. Cora, would you consider bacon meatballs like purely made of bacon? Did you watch Ratatouille? I did watch Ratatouille, Pobo Jangles, it was a good show. Oh, good movie. All right, I'm gonna turn down a little bit. Milk and Cookies, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're still working out the kinks in this show. It's only the second night. Bacon's coming together really nicely. I'm making sure nothing's stuck, but you guys can see, you guys can see now that it's getting this nice brown coating on the bottom. And that nice brown coating is gonna come in so handy in a minute here. They both are what? Oh no, it's a fallen. I, I personally know them. They're they're new to Twitch. All right, getting browner. We don't want to overbrown it. We don't want to burn it. But it, right now, it's kind of like deep frying in its own fat, which is fantastic. I don't have to stir it all that much because literally, like it's just you can see all that bubbling and the boiling and all the trouble. That fawn. This is nearly as satisfying as cooking for myself and no work. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate that, my friend. See all that now? See how it's browning nicely? Oh, that looks so good. Does it smell good? It's it's that, I'm like, that would suffice. And I'm going to turn the heat down even more. That would suffice, but I like it a little browner than that. I like my bacon a little crispier. I like it a little bit more on the flavorful side. Especially when you're doing a soup, um, it will come back. It will kind of inflate up a little bit. But Mary's turned me on to something really cool, and I'm going to show you guys about it in a second. We're about there. You see how I'm just kind of jostling it so I can see through those bubbles? Yeah, I think we're I think we're there. That's got a nice brown color to it. Caramelized up. Yeah, I'm gonna call that bacon. Okay, so we're gonna turn our heat off. We're gonna dump this pot right into our metal pot. And there's a reason I picked this instead of a, a plastic bowl. And it should be pretty obvious. Now this pan is really freaking hot right now. Obsessed Wolf, how long is this gonna take? A minute. I'm cooking, my friend. Good thing I'm not cooking for you or you'd be hungry right now, huh? So, dump that grease back in there. That's what Ruben said. You should put Cameron and his cousins in a hot pot of tomato sauce. I've never met any of Cameron's cousins, believe it or not. So, got that drained out. Celery's going in. Turn the heat back up. And we're going to basically cook the celery until it sweats a little bit. Milk and cooketh. Can't make clam chowder in a minute? No, you cannot. It takes about a half an hour if you have everything ready to go and it's, uh, it's going smoothly. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit of a thinner clam chowder tonight because uh, my wife likes it thinner, but I'm also going to show you how to make it thicker. Um, now, while we've got our celery cooking, I'm going to show you how to make it a little thicker. I'm going to do that using the bacon grease. So, we've got all this drained out. Put a little bit of this oil down here in this pan, this bacon grease, this delicious, delicious bacon grease. And I'm not measuring. Now, I should probably should be, because I'm going to try to make a roux out of this. But I'm not measuring. Um, she's probably going to come back and bite me in the ass here in a minute. Because I did this the other night, and I tried to eyeball it, and I didn't. But that's OK, because we're cooking at home. And it doesn't matter. Nothing has to be perfect. That super delayed answer to my question about half an hour. I'm sorry. Apology. Apology. I'm looking and I'm streaming and I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking over here. But it's just, there's a lot of movement, man. Real chefs eyeball everything. I think so. Um, I don't need any more stuff in there. I need my flour. So what I'm going to do with this bacon grease over here is I'm going to make a roux. And the roux is going to be, oh that smells good, celery and bacon grease, so good. Um, the roux is going to be to thicken up the chowder. And we're going to do that with some flour and their grease. And we're going to turn the heat up. Now, eyeballing it is okay as long as you know what it's supposed to look like. Hopefully, I didn't put too much. 
Now this is kind of a thin roux. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. And I'm turning the heat on so that I kind of mix all that flour into that grease. Next week, halibut poached in heavy cream on some si on some sides. All right, Rubo, I'm down. Heavy cream go or uh, flour goes in. Keep mixing that roux up. Now our celery is about there. I like the way that looks. Let's throw our potatoes in. Now you're thinking that doesn't look very soupy. And I'll tell you why we just did that. Because the next step after that Ooh, stop it. is adding the clam juice. <laughs> stop what? Stop it. Can you make this root for me real quick? Yeah. I'm just keep kind of slowly stirring it. Just keep beating all this stuff out of it. We'll turn the heat down a little bit. All right. So, potatoes, celery, bacon grease, all cooking in a pan. Are you adding flour? No, you're good right there. That's a good root. I love halibut. What's up, Smug? How you doing, buddy? All right, there's our clam juice. It smells like clams. <laughs> what do you smell? Clam juice goes hey, in. Somebody donates, I'll drink some. You'll drink some clam juice? <laughs> I think we got 55 bucks in donations. I, I think it's like it. I think it's time for you to, to take a slug of clam juice. Bucks. Yeah. Okay. Over 55? Yeah. There was at least 65 from no, all there's, alone. That's true. I think it's our, our alerts aren't, aren't registering at all. Um, I usually use my, yeah, you can turn that down a little bit. But actually mix it. Make sure you get all the flour. There you go. Don't be half ass about it, Cameron. Yes, Chef. I want to use my my uh, my vape to open this. You want to taste? Here you go, Chef. I'm not kissing my girlfriend tonight, Chef. How was it? <laughs> that wasn't too bad, Chef. It wasn't too bad. All right, good. Good to hear. Salty. Hey, it's a phobie. What's up, buddy? I'm about to bed. Had to drop the loves. All right, Thanto. Was, well, there, a host? By, my was there a host? Was there a host in there? Was there a Thanto phobie host in there? Yes, there was. Thanto, thank you for the host, my friend. The hostess with the mostest. Love your face, dude. Ah. Uh, <laughs> drink some coffee. It's. I finished it. I think. Oh, did it you? It lingers. It's not. It's very much mine necessarily. It lingers. Drink that. Get that clam. Get that clam yeah. juice out of there. Do you have to let it linger? Just add vodka, camera. I mean, that could work. Vodka and clam juice? I don't think we have any vodka. Uh, I do not have any hard alcohol in this house. Alright, you're good. Let me turn that up. So now we have the roux set over here on the side, and we have our pot of bacony celery with potatoes. Um, now would be a good time to season a little bit. Okay. No, no, no kissing tonight. That would suck. In before Cam's girlfriend comes in. We're gonna season a little bit. We're gonna add some black pepper. We're done with the whisk, chef. We're done with the whisk. Uh, for now, I actually set it in the bowl. Putting it in the bowl, chef. Um, now, Cameron, because you're my Sue. Yes, chef. I want you to open up these cans. I'm sorry, Sue. This is what you gotta do. You said you're bored. Oh, yeah. Do you have trouble with that or what? There what? You. This is a brand new can opener, but it's also shitty. So enjoy. What the fuck is this? I don't know. I bought it for three bucks. Guys, I'm gonna show you this. Like, like, what is this? What the hell is this? What kind of can opener is this? This looks like more of a nutcracker. Okay. Thank you. It is a very nice um, pepper grinder. And also, I got the salt. Um, it's great because it works with gravity. You don't have to press anything. It just works. It also takes a shitload of batteries. Double A's? Triple A's? Triples. Ooh. How many? Uh, I want to say eight? Six. It takes six AAA batteries. I think it even takes more. No, six AAA batteries to make salt. But I'm worth, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Um, so right now, waiting for this to pull, come up to heat, watching Cameron struggle. Dude, are this they, thing sucks. Are you guys catching the, the cam struggle? Here, Cam. Do it right there. They want to watch the cam struggle. They want to watch you fuck with this thing. Now pour the juice in. Just the juice. Clam juice. Yep. More clam juice. More clam juice. Because it's clam chowder, you got to have clam juice. It has to have a clam base. Clam. But make sure you don't get any of those clam, clam gin if you can. Ever been to a clam bake? Giggity. <laughs> All right. So clams for you. Ignoring chat here. Holy crap! Six batteries. I know, right? I need a battery donation call now. <laughs> yeah, that's what all further I've, proceeds will go to. I think I've probably gone through at least eighteen, maybe twenty-four batteries. Obviously, the salt shaker gets used a little bit more. Um, and I normally would use like a higher, a larger kernel of salt, but I ran out of my Himalayan salt. Oh, um, I re highly recommend that everybody buys themselves a box of this. Get rid of that iodized crap in your, your cupboard and buy some kosher salt. The larger granules work really nicely. Um, this works to, love it. 
This works to Jewish people. <laughs> this works really well to get you a finer um, bit so that you can put it on something. Um, you can also just use the straight kosher salt. It's also really handy to have the little pour spout on the side. 90% um, of restaurants are going to have this exact same box Seriously. inside of there. You will see this ubiquitously in restaurants, but it's got the nice little pour spout on the side. Um, and I got I to gotta tell you guys, I went through, I work at a grocery store, believe it or not. And I went through the checkout line with this, and they were like, what are you doing with all that salt? <laughs> cook. I cook a lot of food. <laughs> if you had any idea how much salt was in your food that you're buying every day, you'd understand. I use sea salt. It, sea salt's great too. Nothing wrong with it. I just love having this stuff around. It's really, really handy. It's great for like if you got a big pot of pasta going. Kai! Kai! What's up, Kai? Us nerds? The fuck are you nerds doing? We're cooking! Us nerds? We're cooking! Oh, nothing. I'm opening cans. 31 nerds. Nice. Well, you figured out the can opener at least. It goes this way. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> there we go. In case you didn't know. They kind of look like little miniature vaginas, or at least this one does. Just, just little miniature vaginas. You guys want to see my vaginas? It's kind of gross. How you like them? Vaginas? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Good night, guys. I'll be on COD now. All right, Rubo. Thank you for coming out, man. Good night, Ruben. We love you. I will see you tomorrow, Senor. Um, guys, as a special treat tonight, um, we also have this half baked, half baked. <laughs> Um, sourdough loaf. Uh, sorry, it's not a big secret, but a lot of markets and stores will uh, will buy their bread partially cooked, and then they'll finish it off in the store, and then they'll put it out in that little bag that you see at the store, and you go and buy it for two ninety nine, and it's and you really like it when it's nice and hot at five o'clock. I'm talking about Safeway, but there's I'm sure there's other stores that do that. If you can get them to sell you the partially baked bread for the same price, which it should be, um, do it. Do it. Bring it to your house. Ask them how long they cook it for. Uh, it's 15 minutes. We're not gonna put it in yet because we're not. We're not. We haven't boiled the potatoes yet. But we'll set it right here. Just to, just to show off. Observe. And then also, what's an amazing dinner without dessert? So I'm gonna show you guys how to make. Go up. Pumpkin turnovers with like maybe four or five ingredients. It's gonna be really good and really delicious and really easy. Um, if you can buy these two things at your local grocery store, you can make pumpkin turnovers, and they're delicious. And you can also put icing on them, but I'm just going to make them normal. Um, but that's after this, and cupcakes have a recipe for us for this one. Um, really easy. I don't normally do baking. I freaking hate pastry, but, uh, but I'm really excited to, uh, to make some turnovers. And, and one of the ways to make turnovers, and if you're going to mess with puff pastry, make sure you thaw your puff pastry. Um, and one thing they do with these puff pastry sheets is they put them in a paper bag, and a paper sleeve. Ah! Kind of with my legs. Maris, you work in a weird restaurant? What did Maris say? You used to work in a restaurant, Kai, you know what hats and shit don't happen in the kitchen unless the health department is around? Hey, I've got a bald head, I don't have to wear a hat. Grand total manufacturer. Wow! Yeah. Holy crap, that was quick. Um, these so comes with it comes with two sheets. Deuce sheets. And these douche sheets um, are better to thaw out separately than the douche sheets are to thaw out um, on top of each other. Because I've had a lot of experiences with these guys uh, sticking to each other, and so it's a really good idea to separate them, um, set them aside somewhere, maybe on a paper towel, maybe not even on that. Um, I'm going to put them on, a, on one of my um, baking sheets. Isn't it fun? Isn't this cool? We've got this camera, we've got this camera. Like, we can do two different things in the same spot and if I if we wanted I don't know if you were here last time but this this camera right here is an iPad that we're Skyping with the computer over there so if I wanted to I could take this and do the walk around but apparently I was a little too much last time I was yeah making it was, people sick we were all over the place we had a couple complaints about vomiting um, motion sickness and such it happens. Um, so I've got my puff pastry sheets. They're thawing over there. They won't take too long to thaw. Probably by the time this all comes together, we'll have them ready. Um, so you can see now that they're, we've got some boilage going on here. It smells clammy. Um, Obsessed wolf, did you say goodnight? 
Oh man, this is going to take longer than 30 minutes. I'm going to go crash now. I've got work in the morning. All right, Obsessed Wolf, thank you for coming out, man. Appreciate that. Thank you for the, the follow. I'm guessing you followed. I think you're just gross, Maris. I don't wear gloves either. Well, you know what? I'm cooking for myself, Cameron, and my wife. Don't do and it, my Cass. Kids. Don't do it, Kai. Don't shower. Don't do it. Be, hey, a, be a dirty boy. Potatoes are coming up to a boil now. We've got probably about 10 minutes for them to boil. Um, at some point, if we wanted to thicken it, we have our roux ready to go here in the back. Actually, can you get the, cup, the recipe from Cupcake and maybe you can start working on the, um, the pumpkin filling? I'm going to move this to the side for right now. Cupcake, you're a beautiful lady. It's true, she is. Most people do not use gloves the correct way. Do you guys really want to see me wear gloves? Is that really... I don't want to, but I will if it makes you guys feel better. Hey, if you're cooking for you and your family, you can spit it in if you want. Yep, you can if you want to be that guy. But like, really, I don't... You go to any like high-end restaurant and no one's wearing gloves. Sorry to say, unless they're dealing with raw food. Um, we're going to cook these guys until they're just tender because we still need to add cream at the end. So I've got freaking crazy hands that can handle touching stuff like that. But um, you just want to kind of grab a piece of uh, potato and pull it out, maybe smash it against the side to see if it's ready. Um, obviously it's not because we just started boiling it, but either way. Rage and Shy Tomb. What is up, guys? FedEx this shit to me? I can, but it'd be kind of gross by the time it got to you. I'm not going to lie. I don't think you'd like it very much. So, boiling it down. If anybody is not following her and him, uh, if you're familiar with Rage Retro and Shy Tomb, two of my favorite couples. One of my favorite couples. What are you fucking wearing on your back? I'm a turtle. Her and Him is a stream of Shytube and Rage Retro, Retro, one of two of the most amazing people. Uh, I got to meet them at TwitchCon. Highly recommend you check out their stream. Lately they've been doing a lot of Battlefront um, and a handful of other games. Shytube is also a partnered streamer. I'm guessing they're trying to get that shit up there in the partner bill. That's just my guess. Just Rage, but Haya. Haya Rage. Rage, um, I don't know if you're going to be up later, but I need to talk to you if that's cool. Um, maybe after my stream, if you're still awake, I'll send you a message um, on Twitter or something. I'll uh, DM you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Gape it? Wow. One, two, three, one, two, three, doors open them. What's in the cans? Those are clams. Um, these clams, clams, they're canned clams. Because we're doing this the easy way. Opened by cam. These canned clams are opened by cam. Whoa, we got fire! We've got fire! That is not, we've still got fire. All right, Cam, deal with the fire. <laughs> We've got fire. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Hopefully my smoke alarms don't go off. This is what happens when you pay attention to a stream while you're cooking. Things light on fire. This is what way. happens when you cook with Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> he really is cooking here. <laughs> fire! Yeah, that's why you don't keep paper towels on the stove. I need one of those. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy one of those little dealies that you're supposed to put your spoon in when you're not using it. Um, I can kind of tell already that these guys are getting cloche. Uh, once again, I'm going to use my finger. I highly recommend you don't do this. We're not there yet. We're getting tender, but we're not there yet. Panic basket. <laughs> mayday, mayday. <laughs> Cam is part Koopa. He is. Did you guys notice he turned into a Koopa? Not anymore. Not anymore? You decided to get it off? It was uncomfortable. What about, yeah, it's just for a small child. It's for a child. Um, the next step after this is, man, this smells like smoke in here. Mm -hmm. um, the next step after this is we're going to add the cream. Um, the reason you don't boil the potatoes in the cream is boiled cream can start to separate and get kind of gnarly. Um, we want to bring the, the cream to a boil once we've added it, but we don't want to literally boil the cream for like the 10, 15 minutes that it takes to cook potatoes. Mortise, you're absolutely correct. That is exactly what we're doing. So the face cam is actually an iPad that is on a Skype call if you broadcast your PC and then you window capture the Skype video on OBS. That is exactly what it is. You are a clever man. Clever, clever man. Here, show him. He is so, he is so clever. You freaking nailed it. And we have another iPad over here on the right side that's, um, that's for chat. And then I've also got my chat blown up on that screen back there. So there's you guys. 
you can see that. That's the iPad. And then if you can see this over to the right, there's the other iPad and we've got chat over here. Yep. So we're looking at you here. And then yeah, we've really? got the camera up here. It's kind of cool. And yeah. Mic's right there. Yeah, I like it actually. It works really well. As long as you guys can hear me, because I'm, I'm worried about the sound, but I've got this nice microphone right over here that's kind of helping that all go on. More bacon for us. What's your favorite kind of tater? Mashed, scallop, fried, etc. Every single one. Honestly, I fucking love potatoes. But I'd say my favorite, favorite, favorite is al gratin. Um, yeah, potatoes al gratin cooked with heavy cream, white pepper, salt, and um, garlic. That's it. Real thinly sliced potatoes. Cook that all down in a, in a casserole dish and you will blow people's minds. Throw some Parmesan on top when you're all done. Let's be honest, guys. To your stomach, it all looks like mashed potatoes. Okay, so now my potatoes are tender. They're getting tender. Rur, rur. Tender. Rur, rur, rur. So now we're at that point where we're going to add our next handful of ingredients. And I left my cream out, which is okay. Baked potatoes are... Baked, baked potatoes, potatoes are all for those. Twice baked potatoes are probably one of my favorites as well. Hi, cat. Okay. So, cream. Cream, 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 cream. And that's what makes clam chowder creamy, 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 creamy. Cat's in the kitchen with a silver spoon. Little boy ruin the man in the moon. We're gonna mix our cream up a little bit. And now, you guys can see that this is a very thin chowda. If you like a thin chowda, this is the recipe for you. If you do not like a thin chowder, this might not be the recipe for Smug, you. Smug, good night, dude. Smug, you take it off for the night? I gotta sleep, good night, man. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Whore cat! No, that was a boy. Yeah, that's the next one. Well, he's also a whore, but he's not the one that purrs and rubs his... Cupcake, are you okay with it being a little thicker? If I add some of that... If I had a ruin to it. I'm not gonna make See, it super thick. See, that's core kitty number one. That's it's not gonna be super thick. Rara's a sweetheart, but core kitty number two. It'll Luna, be fine. The little kitty. It's just a little bit of a ruin. Pure evil, all in like a little kitten package. It won't be. Trust me. We, we did it really good. Evil. I'll see if I can get a video of it later. I know. Kai prefers Manhattan clam chowder. Oh, really, Kai? Really, Kai? Who likes Manhattan? Really? Is it? Creamier. No, it's tomato. It's tomato? Tomato. What the fuck? Yeah. Gross. You'd think you'd like the white Porky sauce. number two is a total bitch with a fucking mouth. Yes, Maris, that's the one. Um, so we've got our pot over here. Sorry, but that was really loud. We've got a second pot over here, and we've got our roux that we made earlier. And we're going to now put our roux into the secondary pan here. And I'll tell you why in just a second. And you saw how I made the roux earlier involving uh, the bacon grease and flour, and we cooked it down for a moment. I highly recommend that you all throw away your plastic and rubber spatulas and buy yourself a silicone spatula. They are fantastic. Nothing sticks to silicone, although I've had some experience with things sticking to silicone, but not much. Okay, we've got our roux in that pan. I'm gonna show you why we're doing this. Going to um, here we go. Gonna get a measuring cup. Now you got a handle on your measuring cup. Gotta keep your woman happy. That's number one. Hey now, it's only gonna be a little thicker. We're gonna add the broth, just giving the top, not getting any of the chunks. And we're just gonna hook that there for a moment. Just grab my whisk that I was using earlier to make the roux. We've got our roux warming up, so it's starting to get a little bit more malleable, more and more pliable. And then we're going to take our liquid from the pot, and we're going to slowly incorporate it into the roux as we were heating it up on kind of a low. I have it on high right now, but I just kind of want to. I want to hurry this along a little bit, but we're incorporating it slowly, nice and slow. You see how that's thickening up? That's because we're incorporating it. Then, now that we have this kind of sledge, incorporate that into our pot over here. Cat said bitch, you know, I don't like being on camera, right? And we're just gonna kind of mix that into our pot. And that's gonna kind of dissipate. 
into this. Um, I know I'm using a whisk on pieces. Again, we're cooking at home. We're not cooking for a restaurant. We're not doing anything special. Super spectacular. Amaze balls. Know what this is. Is it starting to come up with heat? Hey, I got another follow. Fucking big sea turtle. Did it work? I don't know what this Testerito, is. thank you for the follow. Oh, Welcome geez, to the stream. Heat's coming up on this guy turtle. here, guys. We're bringing up our, uh, it's a baby fucking our wheel, cream. Holy shit. And now is a good time to taste your food. I highly recommend everybody tastes their food. If you're not tasting your food, you're not doing it right. Grab a spoon out of your drawer. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow. We were about to go brush my teeth on those lights out, get another fucking stupid briefing tomorrow. I'm sorry, Kai. Always taste your food. Make check it for salt, for flavor, if it's missing something. That's why I love cooking. Because you can always mess with something and change the recipe up. We still have a nice little boil going on here. Um, oh my god. Can you get one, two, three, one, two, oh. three? Oh. Dude, I nailed it. I fucking nailed it right there. You got another follow? Yeah. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Thank you, Gaping, for that follow. Okay, I'm here. Ooh. Did you say testing? No, 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 no. Ooh. That's bomb. Right? That's really delicious. Okay. So we're boiling now, guys. We can throw our clams in. And the reason we're throwing our clams in at the very, 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 very end is they're already freaking cooked. We don't need to cook them anymore. They don't package raw food in cans. It has to be cooked. So we want to be careful that we do not overcook the clams. I don't know if you've ever had overcooked clams, but they are freaking awful. Now you're all probably wondering, what about all that bacon you cooked earlier? What are you going to do with that bacon? What is up? with that bacon. And I'll tell you right now what's up with that bacon. That bacon is going right the fuck back into this pot. We've kept it reserved this entire time. And now you see that we still have a thin sauce, but it's like it's like a clam chowder at this point. See, it's just kind of drooling off that spoon. That's one way to tell how thick your sauce is. You can dip your spoon in and just see how fast it rolls off the spoon. Um, it's still thin, I didn't make that much of a roux. I don't want to upset my wife. She likes a thin clam chowder. Um, so we're gonna kind of do it, play it her way. And that's okay. Happy wife, happy life. Overcooked clams equal rubber. Bacon giveaway. I'd be down. That'd be fun. Um, at this point, if you guys are using milk or half and half in lieu of cream, because cream is absurdly expensive, it's like eight dollars, or at least it was for me, uh, for for that quart that I put in here. Um, one thing that you can do is add butter. Um, the only difference between, like, say, heavy milk, or excuse me, vitamin D milk, like uh, whole milk, and cream is the milk fat content of it. So if you add some butter in there, you're basically increasing the, the milk fat content of your soup. So if you only have milk and you want to do it with milk, for the god, for God's sake, don't use zero or like one percent milk. But if you've got some whole milk or some two percent, and you want to make it richer, by all means, throw a fucking stick of butter in this soup because that's gonna just make it richer. You want that rich, rich, delicious flavor that you get with chowder. So as you guys can see, we've got, our potatoes are cooked, but they're not overcooked. We were making sure that when we put the cream in, the potatoes were, were almost there. We've got a lot of delicious, delicious broth. And I totally forgot to put the bread in the oven. So now we're gonna heat up the oven and put our bread in. Now, We've still got bacon, don't we? Jesus, make the grilled cheese now, sweet tits. Ah. Get our bacon here. Got that delicious rendered bacon still dripping fat into the pot below it. We're gonna dump a little bit of this bacon in here. We're gonna dump a lot of this bacon in here. But we're not gonna use all of it. We're gonna reserve about that much. And I'll show you why. Now, the reason we're putting the bacon in last after the clams is we rendered that till it was crispy. So now, it's not gonna get too under crispy. I don't know how to, how to describe that. Um, this soup is done. That's literally all that it takes. We've got our bowl, we've got our ladle. Grab some soup, always scoop from the bottom. You see you've got those bacon bits in there, you've got that 
clam right there. It's just steaming. It's got potatoes. It just screams December. It screams I fucking want to eat you right now. A little bit of broth just to top it off. Now the reason we reserve that bacon, I'm gonna grab this pump out your hands, is why the fuck not garnish your soup with more bacon. We already made this really bacony in the first place. We'll make it even more bacony. You guys want to eat that, don't you? You guys want to just dive right in there. Cameroon? See. You can use this to work. You gave me the right length, but should I eat it on cam again? Uh, if you if if they don't mind watching you eat it on cam, I have no problem with you You're eating it on cam. Take it. at least a bite of it on cam. To you guys. And I gotta serve the wife too. Hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Make sure to YouTube this and the other one, Core. All right, Maris. Good call. Good. This is so good. And it was pretty simple too, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there was only like what five ingredients? No, Six five. ingredients? Did you put queso in here? Nope. What is that? Oh, it's clam. Clam, dude. Come on now. Clam chowder without clams? A little yellow. We're gonna serve up the wife and wife. 